Okay, so over here I've got this old hot water heater that is no longer in use. It is still plumbed in, but it's not doing anything. It's just uh, sort of a holding tank now. Um, it was plugged in to this outlet right there that you can see here that's got this piece of conduit running to it. That outlet is my opportunity load outlet. So what that does is when the batteries reach a certain voltage, that outlet comes on so that the, well, before the heater, the hot water heater would run. But that uh, puts too big a load on the batteries all, all at once, draws too much amperage. So I decided that the hot water heater was a bad idea for the opportunity load. So because of that, I decided that um, a freezer would be a better opportunity load out here to run on that outlet so that when there's extra power, I can get the freezer to come on and since the chest freezer doesn't need to be on very often to stay cold, it would be fine on an opportunity load. Now, this is the chest freezer. Now, unfortunately, it arrived non-functional. And that's probably not the fault of the manufacturer. You can see his Hanai. Um, and you can see something else on this box. And that, this is upside down, but you can see this symbol here. Uh, refrigerator cannot be shipped on its side or upside down. It has to be upright. You can see that this was shipped by FedEx. And they obviously laid it down on its side or upside down or something during shipping. And that ruined the refrigerator. Now, sometimes they'll tell you that, or the freezer rather, sometimes they'll tell you that um, you can set the refrigerator up on its bottom and leave it for 24 hours and it'll be fine. But that's only the case if it's laid on its side in a specific way. And I'm going to show you exactly why that is. So right now I've, I've taken the side, <coughs> the side cover off so that we can see the inside here. Now, this is the compressor right here. It's a little tiny compressor. Uh, it's a little tiny chest freezer, so it's a little tiny compressor. You can see over here we've got the, the control unit for the compressor. There's a relay in there. And then this round unit is the compressor itself. Inside there is a bunch of oil at the bottom of that reservoir. This whole thing is a reservoir. And there's oil in there. If you put that refrigerator on its side, facing so that down is this way, the oil is going to come out of that compressor and it's going to end up in this little guy right here. You can see that little capsule that's in line. You can see the heavier line going into it on this side and then the really small capillary line coming out of it on this side. Inside there is filter media and it's a dryer basically. It's supposed to remove any contaminants in the line from the refrigerant. But if you get oil from the compressor into that line, because you set it on its side in the wrong way, then it, it's going to ruin that dryer. And it will no longer pass coolant through it. And there's nothing you can do. It's completely ruined once that happens. So that's what I believe has happened to this refrigerator. FedEx let it sit on its side or upside down or in some way that uh, oil got out of that compressor and into that line. Because if we plug this in, the compressor is going to run. In fact, let's let's take a look. So I've got an extension cord right here. Let's plug this in. And I can hear now the compressor has come on. But you also can kind of hear that it's sort of struggling a little bit. But um, yeah, it's running. And you can let this run for hours and it's not going to cool. And if I go down here and I feel... These pipes, one of these should be hot, one of these should be cold, and they're, they, I, I've left it on for a long time. They don't change. So there's no, there's no coolant moving around in here. So that's what's happened to it, because there's nothing else that I can find wrong with this thing. So it's clear to me that this thing has been laid on its side by FedEx due to their incompetence and ruined this brand new freezer that now has to be returned to the manufacturer for replacement. Uh, it's probably entirely FedEx's fault. I can't imagine the manufacturer 
uh, laid it on its side. But uh, that's the deal. That's why you don't lay a refrigerator on its side, really under any circumstances. Um, I would never do it because you run the risk of getting that oil. Once that oil leaves this reservoir and ends up in this guy here, you're done. There's nothing you can do to fix that short of replacing everything and recharging the system. It's, it's just not repairable by the end user. So this is a completely toasted unit and it has to go back. But that's why you don't lay a refrigerator on its side. Never, ever do that.